This is Twit. Framework laptop. You've you've gotten one of these lately. I yeah, one? I loved my framework laptop. I um, am I am fascinated by yeah. this. Um they have a 13 and 16 inch versions. I think they have a, a Chromebook now, if I'm not mistaken. They do. And uh, you know, they keep revving them, obviously. So they just announced a rev for the 13 inch version, which is probably the mainstream version, which I think might be a 13.5 inch really, which is a good size. Uh are going moving to Intel Core Ultra chips, which you know, they're they're kind of eight months into a 12 month schedule on that one, unfortunately. So they won't they'll be AI PCs, but not uh, Copilot Plus PCs. But I, I I went through that thing and and configured it and I thought, you know, these aren't that expensive for what you're getting. And the the upgrade possible is and there's also a new version for AMD as well, I should say. Um, you know, the upgrade ability there is just off the charts. I also like how they can sell like these little modules for USB ports and they're all just the best one. It's like USB 4, Thunderbolt 4. That's what you're getting. You're not getting USB 2 on this one and USB 3.1 Gen 1, you know, like all these stupid things. Like when I review laptops, there's like, you know, it could be seven USB ports. Every single one of them is different. Uh, I've re I've reviewed laptops where you get the standard, what looks like two Thunderbolt ports and one of them's Thunderbolt and the other one's USB. Guys, what are you doing? Like if this tiny company can do this, you know, seriously. Uh, I know boards are made a certain way, et cetera, et cetera. How about we make them smart? You know, I just thought, you know, let's uh, let's go for the good stuff. No one wants the USB 2 uh, port anymore, yeah, you know. That's Anyways, a builder, that, that's a, the build company cheaping out at the last it's, second. On yeah, it's terrible. It's a, can, such a stupid way to uh, save yeah. money, you know. It's yeah. just stupid. But anybody who's buying a framework is picking all those parts, and they don't want oh. your USB 2. That's right. Like, well, you I know why they don't have of, any? Because um, they'd never sell one. You're, you're buying a fifteen hundred to twenty five hundred dollar elite book, uh, yeah. ThinkPad X one. Name your computer. I don't want it there either. And I, you see a weird, you see some weirdness out in the world. That's that's all I'm saying. So, I look at this thing and I think, yes, repairability, upgradability, love it. But man, like you, you get the best, you're getting the best stuff. Like I really, I really like that. Yeah, it's hard I, to argue with that part. Yeah, I love it. And you can, it. because you selected it yourself. Every mm -hmm. single, the thing you can't do with any other laptop, yeah, every you, peripheral, every component. The, yep. And if you go from 6E to 7 on the Wi-Fi and that card is, I don't know how much that costs, 50 bucks or something. And that makes sense to you. I love that you can do it. You know, you can do that on some laptops, but it's, it's, it's a neat, it's a neat idea. I like it. So I got to try to figure out, maybe I'll write them. I gotta, I'd love to review one of these things. I'm fascinated by this product. Hey, it's me, Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet from Windows Weekly. If you want to see more and want to catch the whole show, you can subscribe in your favorite podcast client or visit our website, twit.tv slash WW. And of course, there's links right below me.